we want we have one of the finest female stick uh, 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 Mrs. Sorry, Pat Mrs. Sorry. You know, we have the phone of the we have five very good judges. You know, you take uh, 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 Mrs. Wright, take my own uh, Miss Alice Koma. These are very good lawyers. You understand? You have you know, justice uh, uh, in the right them. These are good judges. You know, and these are female. So when they put their mind to something, they get it done and get it done well because they want you know great outputs. Our problem is bringing more women into politics. And because they run away from the cops. I'm telling you, not that they're not able for doable. They're able for doable, able for perform that the cops that they run away from. Even when you have a deputy, you know, female minister working with a minister that is a man, she's always having problems, except you have to be very, very strong. Because if the woman, if the man wants to intimidate her, it will come and say, this woman, just to bring this man business to me. Now, what he wants me. I have gone through this issue. Wow. Where I want to put the foot down for me, right? Now, because he wants me. You look at somebody, you look at the person, say, this person is a real actual brother to me. But because you're fighting against him for something that you don't believe in, and you want to make him see the right part, you become the prostitute. You become this. You become the guy. But all we can say is make more women they come into politics. We need more women for making changes. Let us quickly go back to the COVID. The countries where get women presidency and they perform better than countries with male presidents. I mean, it's on record. You can go back here and go just look at it out. Exactly. You know, right across all the countries that will succeed, we're under the COVID, you know. They are all female presidents. I think probably it has to do with the notching side of women. Exactly, like a brother. You know, they run homes. They know how to take care of home. And so that's so they're able to take care of a government. Because they see a government like their own own house. They see the people of the, of the country as their own bikini. So if I can run a home properly, I might as well come out and help out to make able to run, you know, the entire country. So that's why. They always have, you know, good results. You know, like the outputs, output, outputs are always good. They always, people always say, ah, take Germany. You just spoke about it, Germany. Look at the wonderful that woman. Yeah. Look how strong the economy is. Take it the left. Look how it is. Let's go back to Margaret Thatcher. By the way, we have the same birthday. Oh, really? I didn't know that. <laughs> but look at, you know, look how strong she was. The thing with my, you want to read about Margaret Thatcher, the thing with all my good truth. And make proper tea in the Queen of Lopo because it's, it's always problem with woman and woman yeah, and yeah, yeah. Self, you know, on the same level, mm -hmm. always problems in it. But she was determined, and in determination, make it succeed in the UK. So I just want to make more women in commons and come at the platform. Forget about which name they will call it. Forget about say, oh, they're not there for long. Where I talk about me, tell me the men wait. You know the wait, my ladies. Come out and fight. Because we know that the more we have women, the more the country will develop. Mm. The more we have women, the more people are able to understand the problem of the country. Mm. Because you know how you begin to cry. You know which parts of you know the deep the pain. Because you know Kumbra. And that is why women are always good when you put them in a position of trust. Thank you very much for the uh, for the for the answer. The, um I just want bring attention to something very i mean it's it's all in the public domain to be honest we see say 2002 during the election um you brought red back to kono or at least you helped and assisted for bringing red back to kono and we see say, waiting at the lead to and now they have been with your help with your devotion with your commitment it's been steadily developing, bringing red to Kono. Okay. And now, when it comes into the 2023 elections, everybody they call Kono the swing states in the so called <laughs> in, 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 in American time. So now, we have to do better in Kono, probably that we, that, uh, than, than we did in 20, it's 2018. So, it was so great since uh, 2002. What we go able to do, or what you go able to do, because we cannot talk about Kono without calling Diana Kono Mani. We cannot talk about it without calling you 
and it is going to be you know about to glass as i can see yeah. you know but who believes say with you and your team because it takes a team not you want mm -hmm. them it's like you know your deputy honorable guy type you and your team but what are we able to do to help we gain or continue for gain this relevance gain the people of Kono when it comes to this election we already don't gain Kono. you see um do people that could make up we lost Kono 2018. maybe god be once maybe the Kono people didn't see the difference between the apc and the SFAP. when we are in we all know how we rode into Kwedu town meeting. Dr. Sanisba in Kuruma camp, a given road, the township road, all other districts get 99 kilometers. Wow. Kono get 22 kilometers. So like almost. Three some other, yeah, some other areas, some other districts, and we get 15, 18, we got 22. Township road, all town, you know, well planned. And again, I'll give that to my father for planning the city of, <laughs> for planning the city of Koro. Bless his soul today. The work and this work, when Dr. Anis by Koroma work, they give me light. And everybody know that the water, the water system was a little on the pipeline. And I believe that when this government come, the SFP government come, they meet up, that the source was supposed to come go before come out from Ikuma. My mama in your, in your chiefdom, that is the source of um, water supply before common. And when you look at that time and you look at now, so it gives the Kono people the opportunity for where the two. Sides. So you need not say much. On others, on the other platform, I don't like saying much about what happened, mm. but again, it gave the Kono people opportunity for say, oh, we listen to a story that was not true. And so we gave a protest vote. So today it is coming out and the light say the story where we listened against Dr. Anes by Koroma was actually not true. Okay. On the contrary, Dr. Anes Koroma gets Kono attacked. He get roughly, he get picking him from there. Yeah. You understand? And he gets special likeness for Kono district. And that is why he turned and he look and walk this kind of work for Kono. Shekbema, and Mikaela on this street and Kono district on one side of the way, Dr. Anis by Koroma really focused. Mm -hmm. And when we did last week, now, now this many will be going with uh, Dr. Samaka, my sister, die. Now, day we day, I call again my women, say, hey, you know what? No election, I need to come and talk to the people. Today being Saturday, I will mean, they call on Monday. Trust me, that was all I said to them. So then organize all things. And you saw it now. Well, what do you mean for the map? What do you mean for the map? You understand? 2002, now me and woman, they bring red caracol. Now me and woman, they bring red caracol. My women, this same woman, they were to tell you what so. I only had one Mercedes base, 190. They will sit on top. Was, I was a driver, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> The man and go watch me. This became a big wait. Now this way they can't do up. Then what do say them pull for all I do for me? Now I say ah, this time my father is this. I know I forget about it. But so for me, me not believe saying that it's fearful. See when we mm -hmm. we so respect come on and do so. Mm -hmm. As far as I'm concerned, it get time with the come out. Just the time this way they come out. Woman, when I leave, when I let me go, <laughs> you know, so it was it was a tough fight. It was a tough fight, and so that is why. Today, I command the respect way yeah, the definitely. elders and the women definitely. because I wanted Kono put it on the limelight. And, and, and they did not see it at that time, but when we came to power, and they see how Kono 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 comes, mm -hmm. those way they way they listen, you understand? That way of care foresight. You see, say ah, this we care. This person we fit was not about her mm -hmm. because to tell you the truth. I had it all when I was coming up. Everybody know. You understand? Um, I, I come up from a good family. So I did not do it because I wanted the money. Just for help. On the contrary, I mean, they would in faith. I don't sell both. I mean, they sell both. All rehabilitation that took place after the war, I supplied those timbers okay. to all the NGOs that were coming in. Okay. So it was not about coming into power for money. And and that's again, I drop my hat to the leaders, to the leader APC, you know, to the, 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 the big one then. The doctor Sanders, Michael Ma, Fayasanedem, Mikhail Masanedem, 
because they know who say I pull APC that call up. So who say it be day? Say it be the left power. So these are people that will always listen to me. I'll come to them, please, sir. I for come first for this person. When I give this person social position for me, sir, they will help me, you know, for carrying some responsibility that call up. And bless them. Thanks to them, they listen to me. And most corrupt people, they really talk, oh, I am this, I am that. They say, flow through the effort. The only corner man, the only corner man that was with me at that time, even though instead of being in and out, was Jenny and Basu. Okay. That's the fact. I'll tell I will say this. Because his focus was on, was on national. It got to a point where he became even the, 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 the acting leader of the, of the party. Because of the fracas, the apple, there were problems, like what we are facing mm -hmm. today. We were in and out of court with Dr. Uh, 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 Dr. Anis by Kuruma. So Uncle John Basu take the party. So it was like a focus with the national whilst me being there and then the fight the fight. I'm telling you the truth, you understand? And I always give this to my Northerners in Kono. So because of that, I even form what I call the Northern Alliance inside Kono. Okay. Now me form Northern Alliance and from we a commodity in Kono. Because those days, the only support I had were from my northerners, you understand? And then I begin to push them, push them, push them. And another lock one gets. My chiefs love me, it's not because of politics. Okay. They love me because they see say I need respect for them. They love me because they know I'm a family person. You understand? So up they speak your good heart. Thank you. Would, would, yeah. would, would, no, no, but, but, but you know, like a, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> Because you get good at just like how you said, Jishna, it was not all about you, sir. You know what I mean? It was, it, it, it was it's a, it's a, a, yeah, you, you brought so much development to come yeah. for, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, they say for some person to go for law, they take them three, four days. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? With your leadership, you know what I mean? You encourage um, His Excellency and his Bakuma for much more, uh, you know, development to come on, which, you know, at the end of the day, we thank. Yeah, and the yeah. Always be grateful. They will always be grateful, be grateful to Dr. Alessandro. I went to Dr. Alessandro. I provide it. And there was a time when, when we don't get uh, this company called Jacob Press. Okay. Every weekend, I'll go down to Kono. Okay. I'll walk and see what they're doing. We have pictures where they show that. Okay. Because when they say to them, they say, we're challenging you this two weeks. Okay. We want more to come up from this kilometer to that kilometer. And we're going to come to have a look at wow. it. We'll go down and begin to follow them. When the lights come, I was standing there when Dr. Alessandro right, put out the lights. So, I mean, so, he has what APC don't work for Kono. And the tar, mm -hmm. where they remove before they put this tar, was Shaka Stephen Mama Abu. Wow. So, when Mama Abu done, the next one we come out, Dr. Sanders like, no, my again, APC again. So, when you talk about development in Kono, now APC. So, like I said, it was good, it happened. And people now don't see the difference. Yeah, you know, so I just want to assure them that it's not going to be a smooth ride. True. You know, far from that. Yeah. But what is good here now is people know the difference. People know now say, yes, listen, we have to be sober, we have to be focused. And if you don't have this, you will have that tomorrow. But what is important is to put color first. Right. And so if you want to put color first, you have to put all other side, which is a from a, a personal issue aside, and take color holistically. Say, okay, if color cannot have this, but color can have this. If color cannot have that, color will be remembered. You understand what I mean? But what is important is APC always gets special liking for color. And so it was a rough journey bringing Kono back. But when we brought Kono back, we all see what's happening. I mean, APC back. You see, I, 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 I believe, say, by the grace of God, God come next year, 2020. I'm not saying with your team, you're able to deliver Kono back once more. Absolutely. Before we end up quickly, um, I'd like to just ask uh, um, one question real quick national issue. The scarcity of fear now. I said the transition on the so they were accused. Line they don't begin come back. It seems like now every two, three weeks, lines they did come back now to the station. We see say come um 27, 2018, the dollar was 750,000. Right now, the dollar is 1800, going to close to close to two million. So with these commodities going up. Madam, madam, and you not possibly really around, like you go to the market, you, you, you just see the pain where the average person to go through again, waiting 200,000 people by way going to market. <laughs> Basically, it's nothing anymore. You know, what do we have to do as a country? What's, what's, what's that message, you know, Dr. Samuel, like for hidden people there? So, for, for be like, okay, things that will get better, what kind of power? 
I'm happy that you refer this because I almost want to say, can we bring Dr. Samura in here? <laughs> because these are questions because that is his field. Mm -hmm. That's like mine. Sure. Dr. Samura Kamal will tell you, say, the reason why we have you know the fear, you know, scarcity is because of one, yes, we don't say the word day, but we could have done this it's if it happened this way. True. You understand? And I'm pretty sure say, you know, Dr. Samura will begin talking about in policies. Mm -hmm. We're not far from that again. Definitely. So I shall say next interviews we'll talk about policies and all of this. As a mother, mm -hmm. as a woman going to the market mm -hmm. or sending to the market, I want to tell you, say, me and me want the house with the every morning. Because they'll come to me and me say, oh, the one bag on your buy yesterday at the 350. Okay, you don't know, yes. When I can't go buy 350, no, you don't go 370. I'm like, <laughs> hold the bag and grow. It don't cost the food. I said, you can't go. And it happened to me one day. But every day when I pick here, it can't be price. I said, today I'm going to the supermarket. This laziness I have to stop. I went to the supermarket. When I begin ask a commodity, I can't don't have my case, I put a road and go actually. When I ask for ask, I find out say the price of me meets so waiting and send me that money. Mine yeah. was I don't want to go back now. I don't be able to go back to the market today as I promised. So what did you say? How much did you say? <laughs> like you have to let you go. <laughs> so it's 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 a cross board. I mean you 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 the sufferer mm -hmm. and I want to believe that you know even people in governments are also suffering the same. But I am professionally, I'm not the right person for for, for these solutions to this. But I know Dr. Samuel Kamara would be the right person to give us the solutions. solutions. And pretty soon, you bring them out and start talking about them. Good. Thank you very yes. much. Um, now, let's go for conclude. So, which confidence would you give the people via the the people of Sierra Leone? come to, I mean, people are not patient enough right now. You know, the election is less than six months away. So you as a stakeholder by the All People's Congress Party, and um, whose confidence you will give, which supporters them will be as them about the upcoming election? I can only talk to, first of all, let me start first with talk to the comrades and the colleagues, and I call them colleagues, because we have all been, you know, we don't serve the cabinet for years. And now the rest of the flag bearers, if I may send this directly to them, I know, I know I'm not the best of friend right now. I used to be, yeah, darling, I used to be their friend, but from the day we I declared, they thought it was wrong of me for, the, for, for endorse Dr. Samara Kamara. But I'm sure with time we'll get to know. First of all, I want to make them who say, no, I'm not better pass you come on. They're all the same, you understand? And they all deserve for me to get that. But at the end of the day, it has to be one person. So if we're given a chance to one, and it proves that if we do our better next time, then why not continue for the other chance thing? So I must apologize if you feel this way that you know I did this. But again, I'm saying this, I did it, and it was deliberate that I did it because I wanted us to know that uh, we don't get time for begin go start all over again and begin draw draw. And we in the East, begin for the direction. So I came out and I said, this is where I am. And thank God today, we know that he sits, my Akaka is there, and my Akaka will come up again. But I just want to plead to them, all of you, you know, we all have special bond. We all have special relationship. Let us give this man the chance. Let us bring him in. Let us allow him to be the president of Sierra Leone. Because I know giving him the opportunity, I know it will make we all proud. And the interesting thing is this, you're all professionals in your own little way. It's a big owner. He will work with you people. Well, I know they can't make promises on his behalf because I don't even know if Mr. Sefi will work with me. But what is important here is he will work for APC, but above all, he will work for Sierra Leone. So I'm begging, please, don't put egos aside, don't put all the issues aside, don't put APC for now, for now we can put Salon first. He needs you. We all need Ola. We all, the former leader, if he don't bow out, but she'll say he's only to corner, he would want to see APC come together. Oh, yeah. He would want to see that. Because now in baby, for this point after Sheki, after Pamamode, now in baby. So he would want to leave APC, you know, in oneness. And so we can only plead that please do it with the big one. Now let me come together. Let me push this man, make he can take me out of you know, all these problems that we're facing right now. And um, I'll talk directly to the East that um, the lower level election there, let's go out there and talk to our people. 
this lower level election is about the grassroots. And that's what I like about APC. APC believe in the grassroots. And that is why we prioritize a lower level election. So you have the power in your hands. Now, only they can give the power to the IR. So we focus the honor. We, we hope the, you know, to honor. Everything about APC right now is centered on the lower level election. So we beg on And we beg on And I also want to use this platform for talk to me about your mama day. For talk to all the women in the market areas. And say, una osh, una osh, and una osh for all the problems that we're going to go through in the area. When I do one because when I believe in her. But when I meet in the apple, when I meet woman, the market they don't do one for shaky. They don't put one one leon, one one cent, two two cents for make sure say shaky team up and become president of the country. And at them work when they be work in the day. That is the same subject that I said to us right now. Because if we talk about national stadium, now them mammy they one one cent we take the shaky power, make shaky able for build national stadium. If you talk about you building, and then say mommy, I will be put them one one sex in for make shaky build, you know, the stadium. Not to the money be level, but believing in shaky, the believer and believe shaky, we make a president, then get an opportunity for build. So whatever shaky, the way it don't say, it can't turn back now markets for buy fish. We'll all be the same for shaky for that. So wait till I do so today for Dr. Alice Michael, I mean for Dr. Sabura Kamara. When I don't draw for Dr. Alice Michael my yesterday, and I beg on Adria. Let me go talk to me, flag bearer. Let make the sea breeze. Let me give this man this one chance. Make it enter inside and make the change for me. So if we ignore Ola, we abandon Ola. We don't come for let me go and for build our market there. It's a situation of find myself. When you come out, they say, look, and let me do this. Let them do it. Now we're supposed to do it. When I go through the problems, now don't go through them already. When I just own, when I ask, when I be then let me continue. Well, let me build the APC, make APC, you know, wait till we say what made them say what to see. Do you have this lower election on a letter? When I let me go, we vote, we vote with this, because let me put the right people there at National Delegates Conference. Thank you very much, um, Madam. <laughs> For me, it has been a pleasure. Um, we as them, um, we're about to conclude. Again, I just want to take this opportunity for thank Madam Diana for coming to the studio. Hopefully, this will not be the last. And um, I know she's very busy, you're about to go now for the lower levels election. Yeah. But again, um, we already discussed about uh, women, you know, um, how women and equality, well, we also talk about a lot for the APC party. We'll be saying, probably smart, you can tell uh, <laughs> a, a lot for the party. As my year addition, you don't plea to other aspirants then for the unity of the party, for let there be a peaceful, 2023 election, let's all come together. Mm -hmm. So again, once more, we can conclude. Thank you very much once more for coming to this wonderful studio and hopefully we'll see you back really soon. And thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much. And thank you so much, viewers. Thank you for listening. And um UNICEF continue for support this party because diaspora, we know how powerful we are. And we were in a salon. When I said, no, how powerful we serve there and how we can able to shake, dance, and fit when we put, you know, the right person at the right place. So I thank you so much and thanks for the opportunity. Thanks again. Thank you very much. Have a great thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you don't see how long I don't did at the APC. Don't tell me about the children. Yeah. Immediately after I graduated in 1976, Dr. Shaka Stevens, the then president at the time, saw it fit to appoint me as the first press secretary to the president at State House. I worked with Dr. Stevens for about two years. Then one day he called me and advised me, say, Hello, that's what he called me, he said, you're a young man. He said, fine, you're in State House now, everything is there, with the go plan, with the go overseas. He said, but go try and learn something for your future. Okay. He said, I advise you for join the administration. So he called Abdul Karim, when I was secretary to the president at the time of blessed memory. Then then post me the provincial secretary's office board as assistant secretary. 
Then uh, the late Job Sigmomo was provincial secretary. From there, I served as assistant district officer in Ujeru, Moyamba, senior district officer, Potloko, Konom. Then I come back to Freetown, senior assistant secretary in the Ministry of Energy and Power, later in the Ministry of Transport. The late Edward Cargo was minister in the ministry where later, many years forward, I would become the minister of, of that same ministry. And then in 1992, while I was head of the Electoral Commission, there was a military coup in Sierra Leone. I left the country after three years in 1995 because we've been here for first commissions of inquiry at the time in 1993 to 1994. After that, I go America, the America for 11 years. I've been a work for American Airlines and also I've been a work for a company with them early. I decided to come back in 2006 for can join President Andes Baikoma for the 2007 campaign, an election which we won. Thereafter, I was appointed Minister of State in the office of the Vice President from 2007 to 2009. Thereafter, I was appointed coordinator for the 50th Independence and Diversity Celebrations. Thereafter, in 2012, I was appointed diaspora coordinator and national elections coordinator for the first time in the history of the party. And um, after we win the 2012 elections, I became Minister of Transport and Aviation. And we also still hold the positions of diaspora coordinator and national elections coordinator until we were recently released by the coach. But thank you very much. That's a very, very long resume. It's a very, very long, long resume. But uh, when do I pick up? You, you spent a lot of time coordinating elections. You know, you are also, as you stated, I'm saying, having the uh, election, uh, election commission even coming to the governor on the 2018 election. Now, with the gear up for the 2028 elections, being you positioned at the 2008 elections as the uh, election coordinator, were there any lessons learned at that time, 2018? We probably, obviously, we know basically good or bad lessons, lessons they learned at that time, 2018. Well, first of all, in 2018, the party be the benefit from the December 5, 1995 constitution. And that constitution they allow for selection. So that constitution they serve the party very well because it will ensure unity and cohesion within the party. All that kind of boku boku divisions we will witness now not be there. Because of that clause day. And that clause day not be mean say that the selection without consultation. It was selection by consultation. But it will reduce the acrimony, it will reduce the division, it will reduce the infighting. Having said that, in 2018, after the selection of Dr. Samuel Kamara, a lot of the other candidates, them about 25 or so, We've been disgruntled, they left hand. They've not been joining the campaign with their hearts and minds for support the party. Because so not be lack the way when things will go. But the president at the time, President Anis Baikova, now the NAC and the party been given the mandate for choose, for select. So he exercised that mandate today, he select. But after that, including some of the people that would be saying, hey, pa, go ahead, if you select no more, you know, uh, um, they're not be like that. So that brings division of the party. And uh, that's that one of the reasons that we will lose the election. So we will learn from that mistake there. This time, we forget, God willing, we get the 2022 constitution. We not get selection, not election. So this time around, when I put the ballot box, anybody will emerge 
has flagged the area. All of the candidates there for throw them weight behind that win a day and go into the election. So that's that's a very, very good point. You know, just like I mentioned, after the 2018 um, selection of the system, there were many issues there, just like you guys fully stated, whereby some of the aspirants at the time, everybody be 59 time, but um, with the wisdom of then president and his wife, Kamala decided to choose um, Dr. Samuel Kamala. So moving forward right now, we're looking forward to the 2023 election. How, with, from your own position, how will this stand unity right now? Because APC right now, there's a lot of different, different pockets there. You, from 1973, you've been around APC. That's a very, very, so you, for you, it's, you, you have a, a passion for, for APC. How will we unite APC now moving forward to 2023? Name me one political party that the world will unite. 100%. Yeah, that exists. Even the Communist Party of China, even the Workers' Party of Korea, in the communist countries, internal division, then they. Once in a while, you go and say, then they pull somebody, come on inside meeting, then they execute somebody. So, not to talk about the United States of America, or mainland Europe, or the UK and I. Look at how many prime ministers the UK and I don't change in a matter of months. So politics is a power game. And when they fight for power, nobody will go take power again on a silver platter. You have to compete for it. So divisions and competition is an integral part of the politics of all over the world of democratic principles. So in our view to the APC, go back to the history of the APC. The APC don't always survive in crisis from 1967 to 1996 to 2002 to 2007. 2007, we didn't have caught until weeks to the election. When the court grant we lift the injunction for that we will hold the National Delegates Convention, we eventually bring Dr. Despite Corona into power. So divisions will be, but at the end of the day, the common denominator should be the APC. So everybody should revolve around the APC at the end of the day, because the APC is bigger than all of us. The APC is bigger than every candidate. The APC is bigger than every office holder. So the APC is the common denominator which should win and unite all of us. And, and I, I like to say, and you will be one of the people then for embark for see once there's a, 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 an aspirant of flag bearer come January, you will be able to organize all these other aspirants who will follow behind that one. In fact, it will be mandatory, it will be a party policy. Everybody will contest for flag bearer. You will sign an undertaking for say you will support whoever win because the election and the election is going to be transparent. It has to be transparent. They never put the ballot box system in full view. If possible, let them be glass ballot boxes, transparent boxes. When they call your name or your district for go vote, yeah. you go, you grab, you go, you drop your ballot in full view of everybody. No, no, get calls for let anybody complain, say, oh, they don't cheat me, oh, they don't work me, no. When they beat you, they beat you. One thing I can always say, during the um, SLPP flag bearer election of uh, uh, 2012, I think at the beginning you had about uh, uh, 10 or 11 or 13 candidates. Then go there and vote the first round. So man and one vote you get. So man and two you get. That here you will vote for themselves. <laughs> the other man get three votes. He in welfare and PT and they vote for themselves. So some man go allow oh, being a candidate to not put the box on, but I mean they win this and that. But at the end of the day, when they put the box, something are two votes they get. But let it be transparent. Let it be free and fair. Let it be credible. Let it create a level playing field for everybody and give everybody the, 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 the opportunity to show themselves. And that and only that now will bring unity 
to the APC going into the 2023 election? Uh, thank you very much. I think you talk, you talk uh, very openly about the, um, the transparency. We, we all foresee, we all expect. Uh, let me ask a quick question. You were the, so, so from 2007 to 2009, you sat at the units of state as the then uh, vice president. You born away from Kono. So, what's your relationship with Chief Samsumala, sir? Excellent. What will be the relationship with your brother? You want to be excellent. Your brother is your brother. I cannot change the dynamics of my back. Chief Samsumala is my brother from Kono. And he will remain my brother for life. That, that, that's so we have an excellent relationship. We had an excellent working relationship while I served him as Minister of State. And we still have an excellent relationship up to this day. So now and then, now currently, you know, from, from then on to you serve, obviously as your position as then Minister, um, you were also involved in many cabinet meetings with Dr. Samuel Kamara again. And also, you bring up also your election coordinator from the election. What's your relationship with Dr. Samuel Kamara? Equally excellent. Dr. Samuel Kamara is my political brother. In 2018, I personally contributed financially and otherwise to his campaign. I think you can attest to that. Dr. Samuel Kamara is also my Masonic brother. Okay. I'm a Mason. And I'm proud to be a Mason, despite all the negative things that they say. They don't even know what is going on in there. <laughs> they just assume. Many assumptions, right? I see people saying it's a cult, it is this. I'm a fervent Christian, and I'm a practicing Christian. And I will not be part of anything that is devilish or cultish. So every man is entitled to his or her ridiculous opinion. So they can say what they may. That is their ridiculous opinion. But the fact of the matter is that Masonry is the brotherhood of man. And it's a brotherhood of humanity. And the core principles of Masonry are faith, hope, and charity. Wherever there is faith, hope, and charity, there is nothing damage. I can assure you. <laughs> that, that's a very good way you put that. Um, let's talk about Kono a little bit, sir. Kono now in a Kono is being considered a swing state. You have stakeholders from Kono yourself. You have um, Diana Konomani. You have uh, Yambasu. Uh, you have uh, then Vice President. You have other people. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it seems like there are some differences in Kono. There's a little bit of factions here, factions there, factions there. We see Una gets for people unite for not for let all these other people and follow because if Una the stakeholders them divide, then the people them we Una they represent also will be divided. Then why districts will not get divisions? But but right now for so local, Cambia. But but Una 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 piece that the pie is very important. Agree. We are saying we are a swing state yeah. and look at the history of Kono. First of all, in 1962, Chief Songo Biwa, the late of blessed, blessed memory, was the political leader of the Kono people. And Shaka Stevens thought it fit to make an alliance with him. Why? Because Dr. Shaka Stevens has more association with Mineland than with Kono. But he decided in his wisdom to make an alliance with Kono because he had seen the political dichotomy in the country. There are six districts in the southeast that you would say principally are Mende districts. I'm not being terrible. I, I yeah. I ju I'm just giving you the, fact. the politics of the country as it is. Bo, Moyamba, Bot, Pujaum. Kenema and Kano. Um, yeah. Okay? Kono, nevertheless, it is in the southeast. It's a swing state. It's a state. Kono follows their political leaders. They follow 
chiefs on Bubliwa in the 60s. They followed the late Ya Abu Koroma in the DPP. And in thereafter, they followed Chief Samsumana, whether you like it or not. Chief Samsumana in 2018, his party by then C4C won eight out of nine seats in Kono. This is the reality of the of the situation. And if politicians fail to accept political realities and facts, then they are doomed to failure. So as far as I'm concerned, we should unite Kono. And to a very large extent, as I speak now, we are united in Kono. We are not 100% united, but we are 95% united. You can find out for yourself. And it is imperative that we unite Kono and unite Kono also further with the APC going into the 2023 elections. Because we cannot afford to have divisions in Kono going into the elections. We don't want to repeat what happened in 2018. We know what happened in 2018 when Kono was not with us for one reason or the other. So therefore, we should all go out and find ways to unite Kono with the APC. So in your, in your own position, sir, in your own position as uh, APC and also from Kono, so how will you do that? To well, be, to, to unite APC and the Kono people. Okay, first of all, we have to look at the principal players going into the 2023 elections. Of course, there is Dr. Samuel Kamar, who was the flag bearer of 2018. There is the Big Six, as they call themselves, several presidential aspirants. There are others, the AUKs of this world, the Dr. Kefala Mara, the uh, uh, Mohammed Sisse and a host of others. Yes. It is not deliberate that if I if I if I leave out any any yeah. of the names, take to share if we win the elections. There is more than enough to go around. Only one person will win. Only one person is going to become the flag bearer. So what are we fighting for? And in that vein, I had made efforts. I had made personal efforts. I visited Dr. Samoa Kamara. I visited his campaign chairman, Lassana Fadika, who happens to be my friend on several occasions. I visited Dr. Sam Sise. And for each of those visits, I had the blessings of Chief Sam Sumana, who is my brother. He told me, go ahead. Go ahead and talk to these people in the interest of the party. So how were those discussions? Were they well, those discussions went on well until it got to a stage wherein, you know, uh, uh, the two were supposed to meet and then you had obstacles in the way. You had people who didn't like it for one reason or the other, so they created political obstacles. But I'm not giving up. Good. I'm good. And I'm one good. of the reasons why I'm here today is to continue to preach that unity that cohesion among not only Chief Sam Sumana and Dr. Sam, Samuel Kamara, but also among all of the flag bearer aspirants of the APC party. I think I think um, it's very thoughtful of you, and also it's a very good you know bold step forward in terms of bringing this this so-called big guns together. Because without um, all these guys, all these aspirants coming together, APC it would be a challenge because. Um, the, 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 the people look forward to some of you guys, to some of you stakeholders, or to, to bring the party together and um, looking forward to the 2023 um, election. Let me, um, this, this poem is a Creole program, so like we just started speaking English, it's because of the viewers. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> because of the viewers, yeah, so because, of the viewers. So because yeah, we have people okay. from different. Okay. So um, briefly, now we're coming to the last on, on the 10th. They start, we will not ever delete uh, 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 members then from voters register. I think at the first time this will be the year, he say that quantum of people have been deleted. But to some extent, 
the chief, the head of the electoral commission, uh, 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 Sir Mohammed Kone, don't accept the problems they, in that area. They, a lot of uh, 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 CSOs and other groups they not confront them on let it give the reason why you delete that substantial number of 250,000 voters and there has been no acceptable response as of now. So let me just hope that it will adequately address that issue as he said in a press release where he should be said. Yeah, because for me, uh, Mr. Okoma, I mean, my, my own great concern is the, the election 2018 was only decided by 90 to 91,000 votes. Yeah. And all of a sudden now, coming to this election now, 251, roughly three times the number of numbers of votes will be um, uh, beside the election yeah. have been deleted. Yeah. And once we analyzed the numbers and really well, we saw that it came from the so-called APC strongholds. Like Western Air took on a huge hit. Yeah. We see that the North also took a huge hit. So I'm not sure if it's going to just take on openly or there's something more to it. Well, that matter is inconclusive. As I say, it has been challenged. It has been criticized. Several bodies, whether electoral bodies, other parts of the world, there are always issues with that. And they now ask the Electoral Commission for an explanation, an acceptable explanation. And I think, say, all fans, they wait. Let will be patient, wait patiently, and, and see how we can resolve that issue. And I hope, say, they will be magnanimous enough for correct that. Thank you very much. I just want to come to this other area, um, a quick area whereby since APC, whether they will lose power or they take power, now, whatever you, you want to believe, um, it's about one court case to so another court case. One court case to another court case. Then now we don't know who's out with this right now in terms of who first will get the, um, what's the, 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 uh, Peter, after Peter pointed now, where they sit on late. I just want to know which now you you use them, this court case or another court case. That, is it because some of these, is it they not get sentimental attachments to APC? Because now I can find a very difficult see, somebody like you that since in the 70s you went to APC, you you stood up for APC day from college. You will hesitate more for taking APC in a court, whereby you will come to one the big one there and go knock it, go go left, go. You understand it. So I just want to know which time you use them with all these APC. Well, in politics, you have all sorts and conditions of men. You get all kind of people in politics. And APC are a grassroots party, not an elitist party. APC is the party of the traders. The market women, the fishermen, the farmers, the Okada riders, the taxi drivers. Shaka Stevens was a trade unionist in the 60s. And Shaka Stevens, at one stage, or throughout his life as a trade unionist, money not to be the focus. He be the advocate for a workers there. So, and then people they have been they contribute small, small money for make the party, what he be? Then Shaka Stevens became mayor of the town. Shaka Stevens became Prime Minister of the country and later President. As I say, politics are our game. Not only bed of roses. Very good, you know, somebody can. Uh, may you defend for this fault? It's gonna, there's going to be a struggle. But as you rightly say, it will be better if we're able to resolve with differences among ourselves than going to court. But in a democratic dispensation also, people get right to go to court. But we will hope that common sense will prevail. But at the same time, when APC can win the election, now Boku Boku court case. Now so, I mean, now so. I so mean, look at the history of the party. Now so, now so, I get um, former Anthony General, they are so, um, Frank Kago, ACF said teach over the same thing, whereby APC since 1967, when we say, um, President Cheka Steven, come out, the whole and several come out the day over the election. So, in back, try to put your fears and down, say, probably it's for the better. Some of these challenges, these internal challenges. So, at the end of the day, everybody in the APC 
to see easy. Why we for come together? Why we for put we, we, we personal issues aside and come together for the unity of the party going into 2023? Good. So now let's talk about going into 2023. Um, Magistrate Judge Fisher don't say at least by the 29th of January of London to flag bearer. Are you said that advocates say we need transparency, people and know exactly what they go on coming to a twenty um coming to the January twenty nine. Okay. What does APC needs to do to win this election? Three things. Number one, unity. Number two, unity. Three. Number three, unity. We have to be united. And, and could we add if, we unite, if we know you unite, how can we go into such a critical election as a divided party? As a divided party? No, we should be united if we are to win. And, and I'm aware for some of the reach out, what Dr. Smart Kumaro reach out. To so many of the major players, then you know, I can go ahead and call for them, but they don't really make a conscious effort to really reach out and have a conversation with some of the major major players. There, some of these aspirants, then too. Um, you like me say that everybody get it right for who now um, you know, whoever the convention get for take place. So let there be, you know, the voting get for take place. You know, whereby ballots will be, you know, and we put ballots and done. Everybody will cast and votes, and whoever now the winner go to match and. We believe say with some of Funayon, big one in the party, now we'll go to organize everybody again for push everybody in the, in the right spot. Um briefly, I just want to change something quick. Right now in this country, fear business are problem. We cannot and you are once the minister of transport, so you have a lot for do that. What's the issue with this fear increase, increase, increase? First of all, let Dr. Samoa reach out more. Okay. Let continue to reach out. Let the other flag bearers, aspirants, then continue to reach out. I mean, they read something about the new president of Kenya, okay. William Ruto. He comes from very humble beginnings. During the campaign, William Ruto hold over 3,000 meetings. 3,000 meetings at all levels. So he reached out more than three, 4,000 times. So then he's the president of Kenya. When you know what you want, and you reach out. You know the time for reach out and bring everybody together. And you don't give up on anybody. I don't think so. I don't think so. At this point. You know they give up on anybody. You bring everybody on board. So, Dr. Samoa Kamari tried, but let's do more. Let's do more. Okay. Let's do more. I'm not saying Dr. Samoa Kamari. And let the other flag be as they say, do more. more. Yeah, because there's for only. Richard. Just like I say, that he wants what he wants, so I get to do the most of the reaching out. And, you know, just like I say, I'm aware that he don't try to reach out, reach out. You know, I want what he wants, and if I don't see other people, they want what he wants. Well, that's true. That's true. It's, a, it's, it's, you know, it's a very competitive. It's a political, yeah. Competitive. That, that's true. So obviously, hopefully then we'll, there will be a time whereby I think, you know, pull ahead to put in. Yeah. If even it takes after the, um, after the, 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 the January 29th and yeah. the whereby somebody will be mad, whereby we all can sit down. In the interest of the party. And by the way, we said the Lord for the position of Deputy National Yes, Chairman. yes, I'm one of the Because I'm one of the candidates this side, but I saw the flyers, you know, I'm like, okay. I think uh, we all on Korean that they have enjoyed the race. You know, I'm not surprised with the background where you get. I mean, you, you've been around for a long time. So sometimes um, somebody like you, we don't depend on this party since the 70s, since college days. So it's only right, probably, you know, you aspire for what you are aspired for, and, you know, let yourself people achieve. So briefly, since this camp, so. Why did I start for such a position? Well, I don't work for the APC all my life. I don't serve in all capacities, what I don't mention to you just now. 
I don't want to call it them, in administration, in politics. I take the APC diaspora from a few branches to 30 branches over now, in Asia, in Africa, in continental Europe, in UK and I, in North America, from a few to 30. Very few in 1992, after the the, 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 the coup d'etat. Now they will start, and you can I Go to the United States, where I was president of the Washington Metropolitan Chapter of the APC. Come back to the elections. So, now we look around. I don't say other people then, they will self get their own credentials. But I think I get a very good credential in administration, in political experience, and above all, loyalty and commitment and consistency to the agency for serve as the next deputy national chairman. That's a very good pitch, I must say. Um, you talk about the diaspora is there. Um, the diaspora is a very, very huge sector when it comes to this election. And I think say people that we can just sit on no more and just start for say, oh, that's what that's what. But as you been in that position, um, in terms of coordinating them, being in it. So what's what's some of the importance really of these diaspora groups them coming to this election or coming to an election? The most important thing is that they are the breadwinners of millions of mouths in the country. Look at the African diaspora, look at the quantum of grievances where they send to the people level, where they send for development purposes, building clinics, building uh, uh, schools, building roads, not only in Sierra Leone, but in, in, in so many African countries. I mean, they also they give a statement by the uh, president of the ADB, the Nigerian Dr. Ade, Ade Semi or something, and when he calculates the amount of remittances when they come to Africa every year, he said maybe you don't see the reason itself why we have for foreign aid. So the diaspora is very important. And they are a key voice because all they need for do are for food and people them back in the towns and villages and give them reason why they for vote for the party of the common man of the ordinary man, of the grassroots, which is the APC. So they're very important. The last four. Now make even the courts now recognize them. And they put them now by every committee oh, yeah. will involve the APC activity. The PPRC don't recognize them. Everybody don't recognize them. And I'm also proud for being part of transforming the APC diaspora into the sixth region of our party. Wow. It happened under my watch. Of course, it was a collaborative effort. But to me, one door, where I play a key role, a vital role, and I'm very proud of that. And now there is strong competition for the position of diaspora regional chairman. I know that you will be very influential at that position. No. <laughs> well, I mean, friends. All I can say is that I made a lot of friends yeah. all over the globe. And I have a fan club now, which is Global Friends of Logos Oma, with the UK and I, with the continental Europe, with the Africa, with the Asia, with the North America and Canada. So I get very strong links that the APC does, but I worked for it over 10 years. Worked very hard for it. I think that's why they will be, um, they will be very grateful to, to, to somebody like you, putting, you know, increasing the number of different branches all around the world yeah. for, 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 for this. Quick one, I'm bringing back to Kono. What message do people from Kono need to hear for us APC to increase the numbers of votes from Kono? Well, the message we they would like for you is that one of their own is recognized and given a level playing field by the party. And I talk about the Kono people, they don't say give anybody undue advantage or give anybody an unfair advantage 
but create a level playing field for everybody, including sons and daughters of Kono, which is a necessary part of the winning equation for the APC party. In my view, of course, you will get the one in the APC where you will say, oh, we don't need Kono. No, no, I think, I think every, every yeah. sensible person will realize that we need Kono, but at the same time, um, that's why we have also have a constitution whereby we each and every APCN for follow. So that's why we have uh, that's I mean that, that's why we have the constitution with, with this thing, with all the rights for follow and read them and follow that thing and that thing. Now I just ask you a, a brief a lot of question. What's your relationship with His Excellency and his by Koma? Excellent. Excellent. Mainly they communicate by WhatsApp, social media, occasionally we talk. Just recently, I was in McKinney. Okay. If you see on the social media, uh, me and me are missing the birthday shop for okay. And we got the kids together, okay. and we had lunch, birthday lunch, and after that, I returned back to Frida. By the way, when the Kouman and the college met, okay. we were in Fuabi College together, and they know me record for a big college for the APC party, and you know me record that the APC party thereafter, and while they run for the position of deputy national chairman, I go meet him, I'm a I go tell her first as the big man or the former <laughs> big man of the party. Yeah, I think there's always be a big man at the party. Well, <laughs> yeah, a big man at the party, although they can't say we're well, not in the former position. Yeah, yeah, but you but, know. But the uh, major stake, yeah. stakeholder at the party, now a big man at international circles, oh, yes. and the whole world, and we're very proud of her. I think it's April we said we'll see her in Nigeria. Yeah, also, we're very you? proud of the of record and the recognition that the, that the whole of Africa uh, uh, West Africa among ECOWA states, in Nama we get blessing. We get blessing. And, and we hope say, we will continue to bring lawyers. Uh, 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 uh. Talking about Kono, let me go back to Kono. One thing we need to support as Logos go, but I want to make that clear in this book. I support the return of Chief Samsumana as a member of the ABC. I support that wholeheartedly in the wider interest of the party and in the interest of unity and cohesion and the inclusion of Kono going forward in 2023. Me know they say we turn to man and come back as flag bearer of the party now because we don't say that election. Mm -hmm. Okay? The new constitution say election. And I think say Chief Samsumana and the board I said understand that and he realized that for saying an election. But all what we want as Kono people is a level playing field for everybody. In politics, every vote counts. Everybody counts. You cannot discard anybody. Now you said talk just now about the small margin with which the last election was won. So the APC needs everybody on board, including Chief Samson. I think, say, I mean, um, Chief Samson was once APC, and it's always going to be an APC. And I also think, say, um, the APC party as a whole will always welcome him back. I think, say, just because of how, I mean, we will be present now, we will adopt a new constitution whereby people voted in, say, if and when somebody uh, step out from the party, it will take another five years. I think that's the only um, stumbling block or whatever it may be for um, Chief Samsumani. I think so. Once that 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 clause within the APC Constitution, once I think um, Chief Samsumana the five years elapsed, I think so. We all will open. What kind of open? The, the five years for what? For Kamlaka and the party? Yes. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Okay. But it is that day to the interpretation of the courts. Okay. And Justice Fisher long recently addressed that in the latest ruling. So now we left that to the court to the address that. I agree, I agree. And see, we get the uh, Magistrate Fisher. Hopefully, yeah. he will come up with our uh, Justice. Uh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sir. Justice Fisher. <laughs> Judge Fisher, Magister Fisher, one for them. I think they are, are, are serious. They say for that. So, uh, Mr. Mr. Koma or Uncle Logos, Lord Kamba to 
the, the national issues right now, if you may, about the increase in the average commodities that of the people that is constantly. Now, with the CC um, less, we, you be the power, we be the, you know, we, once, when you're not the Minister of Transport, rest will be for the battles like 250. Yeah. Clearly now, rest equal to 600, yeah. climbing up. Fear, at the time, we all know how much fear we did, compared to now, it will be. You go the average commodity, just the skyrocket at the country right now. What's your thoughts about that? Well, it's not good for the country, it's not good for the people. We therefore realize, say, however, that we economy based on the dollar exchange rate because we import most of the domestic commodities. Unfortunately, we are not a farming nation at this stage to the extent that we are able to feed the population with the staple food when I rest. We are not able to go less. Successive governments not able to complete that threshold. So we for try by all means to complete that threshold. Because now the dollar is a runaway dollar. And it will affect Sierra Leone adversely, maybe even more than neighboring countries in the sub region. More than Guinea, more than Liberia. For the first time in history, Guinea currency stronger than the Leon. It, it's almost a double now. Exactly. So something has to be done. You know, during your administration, the administration of President Alex Baikova, some of the essential commodities like fuel and rice were being subsidized. They've been subsidized and for cushion the effect on the people. Because our people are suffering. That is a reality. We self, 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 they suffer. Because you know, say now we need a long bench. We need opposition. We need a long bench. You know, easy. Right? And opposition, not easy. So, you have to cut down on your movements then. If you be the they go on maybe every two weeks or every other week, I think on up and down. You know, now going to Kono and back will cost me over <laughs> five, six million, maybe ten million dollars. Yes. So I get for cut down on the number of times why they go Kono or go see me people there. You know, and I also get for cut down on extra curricular activities. Dining out occasionally, you go take your wife, but I want to go out and I go take dinner, I go out or I go socialize or things like that, or maybe go on a vacation. Those are now things of the past because they are not easily affordable in a situation where you change one dollar for one million eight hundred and fifty thousand conservative. So it hit everybody. And I shall say uh, the president, His Excellency President Bio, he said we done in some of the interviews, acknowledge the times are hard. They acknowledge that. And we we'll get credit for that. Say at least they acknowledge that. But we hope say it will go also further or try for address them in any way. So now I like I end uh, I end up in any way. So coming June twenty-fourth of twenty twenty three, once APC come back now, power, how some of these issues will be addressed? Well, first of all, you see one of the credit where APC government get Look at the history. Is we open up the country to investors more than we counterparts in, in the SL. That is a fact. Under our administration, 2012 to 2018, we had scores of investors who were coming into this country meaningfully. We can invest meaningfully. Okay, maybe at present, the world economic situation not allow that for the happen. But also, it just not happen. Maybe because of local circumstances, maybe for other reasons unknown to us. But I want to assure you, say, on day one of the next APC administration, you will see investors then come back in this country in droves. I believe, say, we... We uh, sabi how for who we sabi how for bring them 
It is our DNA. Development is in the DNA of the APC party. And, and some of the development made by personally you, we all saw the, uh, the expansion of the courts. You know, would it extend and say... You're building and, another party, eh? Yeah, would it build another party? Yeah. And, and, you know, mm -hmm. somebody like you, you know, within an office, you know, all pushed down the two NCP where I used to work at, mm -hmm. for, <laughs> for, for, for make sure they can put us to you mm -hmm. on... And the airport uh, modernization. Yeah, so there was a lot of things we um, would be able to uncover. Another... Something around, then you have discussed a lot more small power. At the end of the day, you've been a grassroots politician. We all, I don't have the, the numbers, the statistics numbers, but we all don't see the increase in the number of illegal drugs used or what I see for them. We saw videos of people um, being high, um, falling. We don't see the dismissal of you know, the people from the military, from the police. We don't see the guy by them, how you coach accidents in the afternoon. What advice as a father will you give to we brother and sister they must up to brothers and sister them with this illegal uprising in, in, in drugs? First of all, love find out the cause of the problem. Frustration and hopelessness. The high unemployment also I believe says hopelessness because me no graduates that will not come off for me college four years ago, okay. three years ago. They don't get job. There is no hope for them. This is not a new situation. Not to foresee now that SLPP no more is not happening. It also was happening to some extent under the APC. But although they don't want to say now, they don't intensify, they don't exacerbate. So some of these youngsters, they don't get place for time. Some of them don't get a square, three square meals a day. So they are frustrated. So what is the result to? Temporary relief. And that temporary relief, if you take push or drugs, they go high, they sleep at heat. You see, say, even members of the forces, we see on uh, social media, mm -hmm. I mean, man, they take push. Policemen, they take push. These are people who are in employment. So what now for the people that are in We don't get employment. If you pass at the CEO of Nanette, coming towards Street Church, you will see hundreds of people that they don't have. And then they sleep. That's their home. On a hill inside. So let God help you. Let God help the country. Let God help the government and succeeding governments from able to address the issue affecting our youth. Thank you very much. Um, uh, last, probably not the least question. Um, do you think back in 2018, with His Excellency um, Dr. Nesbai Kumar selecting Dr. Samoa as a flag bearer in 2028, was it? A good decision then? Was it the best candidate among the rest? In 2018? Yes. By President Kumar's assessment, it was the best. Okay. And also, in terms of the voting population, you said we don't talk about how small the margin was. Mm -hmm. So, therefore, it was not a bad choice. Okay? okay? And at the party being the President Kumar, the mandate for they choose in conformity with our operating constitution at the time. Correct. The 1995 constitution, where I say serve the party very well during the own time. But now even time don't pass. Definitely. This is the era of social media. This is the era of democracy. This is the era of where people are in question every single thing we they do. When they be careful, say, let you not go to the wrong place, they go snap you the next minute you say I'm on social media. It's my bad set and we're actually Exactly. So, you know, so the world has changed. Social media has changed the world. You know. So so we hope say everybody will adapt. You know. Social media they hold the government to account. A lot of people say no more this government and they hold to account. Mm -hmm. 
any government will come yeah. in power in the future will be held to, will be uh, held to very even high more standards. accountable, yeah. very high standards right. than is being done now. Yeah. Just as you see in other parts of the world, in the United States, in Europe, in Asia, in so many parts of the world, this is the new trend. It's a new political trend. Um, thank you very much um, for slogans, Mr. Koma. Um, I just want to give you a final word to Uvias them. With APC members there, people there waiting at the fence because um, at the end of the day, 2023 June is not too far ahead. Um, we all can see APC need for a redeem salon. That's what I believe. It's not so much about where, but APC has a responsibility because the way the country is going out, so there are things that have been taken for the challenges there with salon the face. It's not about APC anymore, it's about redeeming the country itself. So I don't know if you wanted this opportunity for talk to reviewers there if there is hope for the 2023 and just keep everybody in a unity. So first of all, let me try for United Party. Issues that they now with the divide way are the party. The issue of this flag bearer business, the divide way. The issue of Kono and the return of Chief Samsumana as a member of the APC in a defined way, whether you like it or not. So all lengthy in there with a divide way that the party, they will unite. The reason we make a kaya today that is studio, this is not Dr. Samoa Kamara in studio. Not so? Yes, sir. Like office this, not so? Correct. But I decide for kaya for demonstrate, say, and they look for peace and unity and for unified party. So let other people then follow the example. Lord not begin say, this man I already go to her because of this, because of this person I already talk to her because of X, Y, Z. No. Then divisions then they permeate. Where we the leaders then demonstrate them, we follow as themselves, they follow suit. Then they self they design. They will bring everybody together and tell them, say, this new constitution we will get, that democratic constitution, the only thing we'll make sure, say, the person who already support, will they put the ballot box, go vote for her. And the election will they hold, so then a stadium that they go hold her. They put all things like how they do in Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, because I saw the word in Nigeria too. They put all things, you they see. Camera, camera everywhere. So, so when they beat you, you don't go say they hold you. You know? You don't go say they hold you. Now that no more will redeem the party. But if we try for discourage people, or say, no, you don't belong here, you don't belong here now, I know they talk to you because of that, I know they support you uh, 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 because of that, that will make we lose votes. That will bring everybody together. Then we go to the election united. Now go to the convention united. Who are we to win? Me they run for deputy, the, the chairman of the party. I believe myself and I believe in credentials. But in a political game, you either win or you lose. Just like the flag bearer. So whoever lose or shake the hand of the candidate will win. You you congratulate her and you work with her going forward in the interest of the party. Thank you very much. I think, see, uh, one thing we don't exhaust now this today is about peace, unity for the party, and how, as a whole, as APC as a whole, if we come together, I think we have in, enough numbers there to win the coming up 2023 election. Um, I just want to say briefly, hopefully, you will be the, the intermediary for face can chief. Some small as soon as this studio, so you can participate down there for a right time away for camera this studio. So well, now that's one of the reasons to make a kayak. Exactly. exactly. So we're going to make a chief subsuman and a big brother. Yeah, yeah. And I tell her, say, I the kayak. Yeah, yeah. And I get some blessing. He said, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Samoa, he said, No, say, I the kayak. You know, know see so the kayak. The flares were out. This is how it should be. Yeah. Yeah. Let nobody not be a taboo. Let no area not be a no go area for the party. If not so, we do. We will divide ourselves. Who will divide yourself? Like how they uh, say on uh, social media, some people uh, they say they want to affect the election card. No, 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 affect the election card. Please, you know, let us set aside our differences. 
We must have differences. Certainly. Because I said politics is a power game. How about you they go give power on a silver platter? How about you will? I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Again, so I say thanks again to you. Hopefully, this will be the last time having you at this video as soon. It won't be. Because I did pursue the peace efforts, I did pursue the unifying efforts. So you are going to see more of me.